Hello everyone, Max with A1 Website Pro.com here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to learn a little bit about Ajax with WordPress. And so let me give you an illustration or a demonstration on what you'll be learning. Right here we have YouTube subscribe on my website. Whenever you click on it, it brings in this button for people to subscribe to my YouTube channel without actually having to physically go to the YouTube channel. Okay, so they could subscribe right here. Now, I like that feature, but the problem is whenever you just have that feature loaded in already, when it's loading the rest of your website with all your other scripts, it slows your website down and you actually get bad marks for it from uh, the Google Speed Test, GT Metrics, because YouTube is bringing in those scripts to be able to load those channels for people to be able to subscribe to you. And so I was trying to think how I could deal with that problem, and I thought, well, let's use Ajax, because whenever somebody first comes to the site, all they see is subscribe. This, the uh, YouTube script never actually loads until they hit the button to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And why should I let it load anyway if they're already subscribed to my YouTube channel? Okay, so why should I slow them down? And that was my reasoning behind using Ajax to, to make the subscribe button. And so I, I thought that it would be helpful if I taught you how to uh, create a little plugin so that you too could have a subscribe button on your website that's not slowing it down. With the uh, GT metrics these days and so on and so forth, uh, the, the need for speed is really uh, going to be important. It's going to affect your rank in the search engine and so on and so forth. So I'll go ahead and test my speed on this website, on this web page, so you guys could see that, uh, you know, what we're doing here is pretty effective as far as uh, making your websites faster. And I'll go ahead and pause the video, let this test finish. You notice it's analyzing with white, uh, Lighthouse, and uh, that's the same thing that Google uses in order to test your websites as well. So if your test comes out good here, then you're probably going to have, you know have a good ranking on Google as well and and there we go we have a pretty good performance grade a structure grade uh, the load time is uh, really low and so that's what you want to see for your websites whenever you're loading them now um, I'm going to we're going to create this plugin and we're going to upload it to another website that I have but uh, if you Click the link in the description of this video. It'll take you straight to my website where you can download these scripts, copy the codes, and you'll have them for your use. And you can edit them, do whatever you want to with them. But uh, we're going to bring, bring up your favorite note, uh, your editor. Uh, I use uh, Notepad QQ on my Linux system. But you, if you're using a Mac or a Windows, you could very easily just bring up Notepad++, uh, TextMate, TextEdit. And do the exact same things that I'm doing here. So we want to create a new file. So if you want to just click File New, and we're going to call we're going to go to File Save after that, and we want to call this uh, Index.php. First of all, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and get rid of this particular. Um, I was working on that earlier to make sure I was getting my lesson plan all. Good for you guys. So what we want to do here is go up to File and then click Save. And we want to create another folder in here. And let's go ahead and create that new folder. Let's call it Ajax YouTube Subscribe. Just like so. Oh, let's see. Got to get the A on the front of that. Click Create. And inside here, we're going to call this particular file index.php, just like that. All right. And uh, let me close out this other blank one. We're going to need two files. The other file is going to be your Ajax file. And uh, we are going to call that, it's going to be important what we call it here. So just go make a new file file click save and you're going to make sure you save it in the same directory that Ajax YouTube subscribe directory 
and we want to name that ytajax.js. So that's ytajax.js. And save that file under there. Okay, so let's go back to our index.php file. And the very first thing that we're going to put in here is the every, every plugin has to have it in WordPress. Uh, because WordPress looks for this in order to know that, hey, yeah, this is indeed a, a plugin and it knows how to treat it. Okay, so basically it's the name of the plugin, the URL of the uh, creators, and so on and so forth. You can change those around to what you want. But now we're going to get into our functions in, within the plugin, the important work. So we'll go to the next li line down. I created this function. I just called it yt underscore function. And basically what's going on here is it's whenever you create your YouTube button, it's going to give you a script like this. And this is where you got to put it. You can actually put it everywhere in between these quotes. I have a little style of hide Y. And the reason why I included that style in there is I want it to hide the button uh, whenever people click on it. Let me show you what, what I mean. So see the subscribe button? When you click on it, the subscribe Y in the YouTube disappear. And that's why I included that little style script right there. And I'll tell you more about it later. This particular uh, div class of well, what that does is in my uh, CSS scripting, it gives a, uh, a dark background, the, the div class of well. And that's why I wanted the dark background on the YouTube subscribe, give it some separation from the rest of my content. So we take this function. This function is just returning that button. And we add the short, I, I created a short code. I called the short code yt sub. And this is the function it's calling in that function. So the, the but, that's the uh, function for the button. Okay, so let's go down to the next line. And we're going to add a couple actions here. Starting on line 18. This action is, what's, here's, here's what's important about these actions. This particular one on line 18, this lets only the logged in users for your website to be able to click on that button. This one down here with no priv, that's the only difference between the two, is that this one has no priv. That means the people without any privileges on your website can still access that button, okay? And that's what these do right here. And it's a security issue because uh, you know, just don't want anybody to be able to access your Ajax because they could bring your website down if they keep reactivating it over and over again and that's what we're going to get into next here let me introduce you to this next function that we created so this next function is is the yt sub ajax call and you notice that on at the end of these actions both of them call that okay so the first thing we do is we'll uh, verify a nonce. And if the, if, if the nonce is not verified whenever they make this Ajax call, we're going to exit the script because that's probably a hacker or some person just trying to take down your website. So that's why we use nonce. Now, what is a nonce? A nonce is like a hashtag, a random set of characters, and it's only good for one call. Okay, and that's all we need it for. We just need it for one call, and that's why we do the nonce. Here at line 24, I'm actually taking the uh, sh our short code, uh, yt sub, and we're doing a short code, and I'm storing it in a variable called YouTube sub. Now, if the Ajax is false, we're going to ha have an error come out. Really don't need this here because we're not going to be, sh even if it does error out, it'll show your YouTube subscribe button okay else in fact we can actually put the else up here else if the result is successful we're going to still show the youtube subscribe button okay so let me let me get some uh, distance down here before i bring in this next little piece of code so you guys can see what's going Okay, so now this is this is the script that's 
actually making the uh, it's checking to see if if this is empty uh, and it what it'll do uh, is is it's taken the uh, jQuery request and it's taken the result from that and JSON encoding it and it echoes the result now that's if it's not empty okay else if if it's if it's empty it just stays on the server at the, that particular page okay so I like my else statements right here <laughs> don't know why just the way I learned it and then we're finally we're gonna make the the uh, the script die okay all right let me go ahead and get another little uh, action for you We'll go over it. Okay, so this is where we initialize the scripts, the onQuer. Okay, so this function I call it uh, yt sub underscore onQuer, and basically what this does is it registers the scripts, the yt ajax, the one that we're going to put information in right here. It's going to the plugin directory file and it's getting that. Okay, and it's a jQuery array. And it's going to localize the script. Okay. Now notice this is going to the admin Ajax using the admin URL WordPress function. Okay. And that's in your WP admin folder. So and that's why we use the nonce to protect your website. Because we're given privileges to no privileges, no privileged users. And then finally, we on queue jQuery. And we on queue our script that we have within this particular plugin. Now, <clears throat> finally, the the last thing that we need to do is we have to put the uh, button in a particular place at our website. Now, you could put this all in another short code and put it in your website somewhere, but this is going to be website wide, like on every post, right after. Uh, the the first h1 tag I created this function lt underscore before underscore after so if you wanted it before your content or after your content you can do that and basically he, here is the before content I I have a span of uh, yt sub underscore sub and what the uh, j jQuery is going to do it's going to look for this and that's where it's going to put my YouTube button Okay, that I have above. All right. Now here's the nonce. We created the nonce, and that's attached to that AJAX call. Here's the link, the admin URL. It's going to that WP admin, admin AJAX. Now notice the action of the call. YT sub underscore AJAX call and nonce, and then it's getting whatever the nonce is for that particular user. Now let me go ahead and bring up a1 website pro and I'll refresh this and now notice I'm not logged in here at all but when I hover my mouse over that subscribe if you look at the very bottom there you can see the URL path the a1 website pro.com WP admin admin hyphen Ajax dot PHP question mark action equals YT sub Ajax call and then it has that nonce at the end okay so that's that's the proper way to do it to make sure that you're protected. Now this before content is just concatenated. When you see the period with the equal sign, that's just a continuation of this. And this hide yt, that was that little script, style script that I have here in here for display none. So it disappears whenever after the Ajax call is called in. Okay, and then we have a class of uh, YTBE underscore Ajax and there's your nonce and your link and now right here where we have subscribe let me go ahead and scroll over here a little bit so you can see what's going on I have subscribe and I'm using font awesome and that's how I'm getting that uh, YouTube icon right there that little YouTube icon because I'm using font awesome to do it and that's that's what's going on there and then I just close it out with the P tag so let me go back right here. Now, if you wanted this stuff, uh, you know, the before content and after content, 
if you wanted it to be after, you could just take all this stuff and put it in these quotes right here, or you could just change the name of this variable to after content instead of before content, okay? And then finally, we take full content, and we concatenate before content, and concatenate content, concatenate uh, after content. And what I mean by concatenation, obviously, is those periods. And then what we do is we return the full content. And so we add that filter, the content, LT before and after. So this function right here is taking all your content and it's processing it and adding that YouTube subscribe button into your website. All within a split second. All right, let me go ahead and we'll get rid of all the spaces. Sometimes if you have extra spaces and stuff, they'll kind of screw up your script. So make sure that you don't have any spaces in here. Oh, let me get rid of this one could have commented but why what's the fun in that make it too easy for you why well, look there is one little comment right there <laughs> okay so we want to hit uh, command s or control s and save and now we're going to go to the ajax script and it's not much i'll just paste it right in here for you so we're using jquery and that document ready function means it's just going to make sure the document is ready before anything can operate and it's just going to sit there it's going to wait and it's going to listen for this click function that's that button uh, it's going to do the uh, e prevent default and it's going to go over all all of this stuff let's get the post id the data nonce and then here's our ajax call the type is post the data type is json and the url is my ajax the ajax url the data is the action yt sub underscore ajax call and it's looking for the nonce and if it succeeds it's going to fire off a response and if the response is successful it's going to use jquery to target that yt sub and in there it's going to put an html response of youtube subscribe and that's where your button's going to be all right else alert could not get formed all right so let's hit Control s command s and save that and we're going to bring up our folders now for our YouTube subscribe. So navigate to your desktop. And right here, here, let me go ahead and delete this one. I was working on this one earlier. We're going to go ahead, right click, and click compress. Now in Windows, you'll have a send to. And then whenever you click send to, then you can compress. Mac is pretty much set up just like this. And then just click create. So now I have this little zip file, this plugin that I'm ready to upload to my WordPress. So let me go ahead and bring up another website that I have called Google Website Pro. Google Website Pro. Then WP Admin. Get logged in here. Mm hmm. Okay, let's navigate the plugins. Click Add New. Then we want to click Upload Plugin. Choose the file. Navigate to our desktop. Where we have the file, we can double click it. Click Install Now. Click Activate the Plugin. And now let's go see if it's working. We'll go ahead and look at it all, all posts. And hello world, we'll go ahead and go view that one. And look, there's our little subscribe link. Now this this particular website does not have font awesome, but uh, let's just go ahead and click the link. And there we go, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, and of course, this is my YouTube channel. Now it kind of went off to the left there, so you'll have to uh, mess with yours if yours is a little bit different setup uh, with the styling and everything. But that's how you do it. So. I hope you appreciated this lesson. If you did, give us a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.